So this question is a diagram question. We know that because of the table provided here, right? So more specifically, this is a table question. So let's check out the table and then read the question here. So we have rhesus factor, either positive or negative. We have blood types, A, B, A, B, and O. We have numbers inside of each of these cells. Looks like we have an unknown number here, which is interesting. Um, so let's read it and see exactly what we're supposed to do. So human blood can be classified into four common blood types, A, B, A, B, and O, which we, all, we saw all of those in the table. It is also characterized by the presence, positive or absence, negative, of the rhesus factor. Okay, so we see that in the table as well. The table above shows the distribution of blood type and rhesus factor for a group of people. If one of these people who was rhesus negative, so one of the people is rhesus negative, so we're looking at this row for rhesus negative, is chosen at random, the probability that the person has blood type B is one ninth. So first of all, anytime I see this word probability, I immediately think of a fraction. And it's a what you want is the numerator. What do you want? And total, so basically out of how many do you have to choose from, is the denominator. So the person has blood type B, so that's what we want. How many people are rhesus negative, right? So this bottom row. How many people are rhesus negative and have blood type B? Well, that's two people, so my numerator will be two. The total would be seven plus two, which is nine, plus one, which is 10, but then plus X, right? So it's like 10 plus X is the total. And then the question is telling me that that, that average, or I'm sorry, that probability should equal one ninth, right? So one over nine. And then the question goes on to say, what is the value of X? Oh, well, here is, right, here's my equation. This is what I'm gonna solve in order to find the value of X. So to solve this, I can just cross multiply and I get 18 equals 10 plus X. I subtract 10 from both sides. 18 minus 10 is eight. This is gone here. So eight is equal to X. There is my answer. So the answer here is eight. So keep this probability idea in mind. Very, very valuable whenever you see that word.